Hello! Hello! <laughs> oh, that was recording then as well. That was recording. We'll edit that bit. Cut that. Cut. Cut. Take two. Travel. Tall tales. So, I know it's a little bit windy, but we've just found out that Sosipol had 23 churches and two ministries at, at one point. We're just going to show you some of the remains um, that are still are still around, still in, in good detail, in good detail. So we're going to check it out in just a few minutes. 23 churches that's pretty unbelievable for uh, you know an average sized town so you know I was telling you about the monasteries and the 23 churches and the two monasteries just behind me there beautifully decorated and well lit up by the sunlight is St George's Church and we stood in the remains of another church what they've done is to give you a better idea of what it must have been like where you can see this metal bar running through the church this is where they've reconstructed it and built it back up so everything below it is the original stone and everything above it is where they've just reconstructed to give you a better idea of what it used to look like many many years ago so behind me we have a couple more churches you have the one that's still um, standing and you have the ruins of another one this ruins is uh, the church of Saint Nicholas again another Saint Nicholas so he's obviously a saint that's well regarded here in Bulgaria the miracle worker Saint Nicholas but this young lady is on our excursion with us today and um, where is it that you're from? Uh, I'm from Kiev it's Ukraine Oh, you were born there? Yeah. Yep, and you've lived there all your life? Yeah. Yep. You, you enjoy, she enjoys learning lots of different languages. Yep. So how many languages can you speak? Um, I speak Russian, Ukrainian, uh, English, uh, German, a little bit Spanish and French, and then I'm learning Japanese now. But why Japanese? What is it about that? Um, my next uh, travel destination will be Japan, hopefully, oh, wow. in 2021. Yes, fingers <laughs> crossed. Yeah, fingers crossed. And uh, because I like this country, I like the culture, and I do Aikido also. No, you yeah, do Aikido? Yeah. That is the one martial art that I've always yeah, wanted to I have to a black belt. <laughs> wow. Whoa, don't mess, <laughs> don't mess with her. Don't mess. You've seen the Steven Seagal films? <laughs> yes. That's Aikido. That's what this young lady can do. So what? don't get on the wrong don't side. Don't mess up me. <laughs> yeah, don't mess with this young lady. Yeah. Tell everybody your name. Uh, I'm Olena. Olena. And uh, how do you say... Good afternoon in Ukraine. Доброго дня. Did you get that? <laughs> I'm not sure I did, but I'll practice. Now I hear that you're a keen. Uh, I nearly said skier then. No, no, but, uh, no, I'm snowboarder. She's a snowboarder, <laughs> and I'm a skier, and they don't get on normally. <laughs> what is it? Wow. Well, how do you think that came about? You know, why do they not like each other? I think because uh, skiers think that we destroy the piste. Uh, <laughs> yes. But that's not true. If uh, the snowboarder has a good technique, uh, we don't. We go off piste. <laughs> we go off piste. <laughs> yeah. You've got to be careful how you say that, haven't you? See a beautiful little archway behind me there. And look, look how blue that water is. I hope the camera does it justice. But just look how blue that water is. And there's some really strange but quite big birds out there. I'm not a massive, I don't know that much about birds, but you know, they look pretty impressive. Look like good fishers, keen fishers. Not keen fishers, but keen fishers. I love this arch. Under the arches. Oh, oh dear. One of the viewpoints, very, very nice indeed. I'm just going to give you a quick panoramic view of how stunning. Wow, look at those houses up there. Look at those houses up there. 
<laughs> Wouldn't you like a, pot, a pad like that? Wouldn't that be nice? I, w I bet they go for a pretty price. Actually, Bulgaria, the properties, even by the beach, are really, really cheap. Which is, uh, which is pretty awesome, isn't it? So maybe one day, when I've earned my millions, I'll, I'll just buy a couple here, sunny beach, yeah, burgers, who knows, who knows? The opportunities are endless. <laughs> right, I better catch up with Sarah. She's, she's just gone, she's, she's on one. Look at these old walls. Wow. What do you think of it so far, Sarah? Beautiful. Isn't it just gorgeous? It is. Yeah, isn't it just gorgeous? Wow. And it looks like it was part of a, an old fort, again, protecting the Bulgarians from the invasion of the Turks. Not a lot of love lost in that respect. Somebody taking a picture. Oh, I do apologise, my friends. I'm so, so sorry. No! No! <laughs> oh, that was recorded then as well. That was recorded. We'll edit that bit. Cut that. Cut, cut. Take two. Okay, so we stopped off for some lunch at a little restaurant. I haven't shown you the salad because it was the same as yesterday. It's the Shopsky salad. And to follow the Shopsky salad, which was very nice indeed, we have bean soup. So it's got vegetables in it, a little bit of oil as well. I expect plenty of herbs and spices and things like that. Now this is known as the musician or the military soup here in Bulgaria. So we'll just have a quick taste, see what it's like. Grab some bread. Bread comes with everything, all free of charge, bargain, even the water. Let's dip it in, get a, get a test, see what it's like. The rest of the guys on the table, if you'd have seen that face, uh, 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 she's not sure, she's not sure, is she? <laughs> I need to check it out myself. Mmm, <laughs> very watery, and you can taste, taste the oil. But yeah, it's got, a, it's got a nice taste. It's got a nice taste. Not fantastic, not bad, but definitely worth giving a go if you come to Bulgaria. I just thought I'd give you a, a closer look. And um, my, my face speaks a thousand words, I'm sure. Mm. Really good, really good, really good. And you know what? <laughs> She's not agreeing with me. She's not agreeing with me at all. But it is, trust me, I, I like it. And the main course has arrived. I love these dishes. Look at the style of that dish. I'm on one of these at home. So it's very traditional. Stewed pork, potatoes, there's a bit of um... What's that? <laughs> it looks like a runner bean, that type of thing. In a nice little stew. Fulfilling. I'm not sure Sarah's going to be eating all of hers, so I can finish that off as well. So that's always a good thing. Let's just check out, see what this pork's like. Let's have a look. Get some juices on there, get some potato. It looks good. What does it taste like? Mm. First of all, very hot, very warm, and very good. The pork is very moist, it melts in your mouth, you don't have to chew it. And a beautiful sauce, very juicy. And the potatoes are cooked to perfection. <laughs> Full of soup, I'm losing it, it's that good. I can't keep it in my mouth, it's trying to run away. So um, I'm gonna tuck into this, and I'll catch up with you. Mm. Don't talk with your mouth full. Oh, the baby enjoyed that. <laughs> and these guys are already tucking in to their ice cream. What's the verdict, guys? Nice. Nice. Vanilla? So it's more like a coconut ice cream, apparently. Yep. And a little bit of raspberry, a raspberry strawberry on top. Bit of strawberry juice on top. Squirted on. Let's have a look, see if I can taste. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it has. It's got a little bit of a hint of coconut, I think. Even she's put that idea into my head. Oh, it does. 
So guys, we've just had a fantastic four course meal here at Mattis. Now Mattis, as you can see behind me, is on the beach. Beautiful seating area, there's a lovely little uh, fountain there. The staff are awesome, always smiling, lovely guys. Table service, top quality, and the chef is pretty awesome as well. So as you can see, you've got an inside bit as well, so you're protected from the wind, because it is a little bit windy. But come, if you're down here. You share in Facebook. On Facebook and YouTube. And then you can see his badge there, there. Mattis. Mattis. That's M-A-T-I-S. <laughs> Bar and grill. And the food, well, oh? my belly says it all. <laughs> Fantastic, thank you so much. You. It's been an absolute pleasure. You have a nice day. You too. So if you're in this part of the world, come down. Beautiful scenery, beautiful food and beautiful staff what more can i say we've had a really lovely afternoon and part of the morning here in sazapol it really is as i'm sure you can see a beautiful beautiful bulgarian town i think there's many like this i think we're going to be pleasantly surprised by what we see and how much we actually see as well it's, uh, there hasn't been a dull moment. We're over halfway in our adventure in Bulgaria. Look at that. Just look at those settings. Wow. And already, you know, we have seen so much and experienced so much beauty, tranquility, and the architecture as well. The architecture, as I've said many, many times before, is amazing in this place the simplicity but stunning as well so you have to visit if you get the chance to come to bulgaria hit the south of bulgaria and uh, you won't be disappointed and like i said if you're into your churches and things like that then also you're gonna love this part of the world and you've got all these beautiful little souvenir shops around the town as well. Beautiful people, see? Very friendly indeed. Hiya guys. Uh, so we're still here in Sosipol. We've just had that fantastic dinner that I showed you and was telling you about. An old anchor. Oh. But it is, it's gorgeous. Let's do a little pan around for you so you can see what I'm seeing. There's Sarah taking a bit of a rest, chilling out after that dinner. Yeah, so it is a, an old fortress from, like I said, many years ago. And now quite a big tourist attraction. The great thing about Bulgaria, um, not for myself, but for most of you guys maybe, is that it's extremely cheap. So let's just get a different view. Look at that, I can't get over how blue the sea is. Really, really nice. And apparently I haven't stuck my hands or feet in there yet, but apparently it's really warm. Are you going for a paddle, sir? <laughs> that's a no that's a no and this little door here that you can see just behind me there's a museum the entrance is at the top um, but there's a museum in there and it's got an upstairs and a downstairs but unfortunately because we are out of season it is closed at the moment but being closed and being due to covid it has made it quite special really because everywhere is still nice and quiet it's not overrun with tourists and this little cliff top along here you've got lots of little restaurants perfect positioning for a restaurant overlooking the sea having something to eat if you could that'd be a great place to own your own business so thanks for staying with us today it's not over, not yet. We're going on shortly to Burgess to look around the town, do a bit of shopping. So I'll take you with me on that journey. 
and um, and then I think we're homeward bound after that so if you like what you're seeing please give us a huge thumbs up hit that notification bell as well make it go ding a ling a ling and, uh, so you don't miss any future vlogs or past vlogs as well um, don't forget to check out our Morocco ones and the ones before that on Bulgaria there should be a fair few on different parts of Bulgaria and of course if you haven't already if you have thank you so much but if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and let us take you on an adventure wherever we go it would be great for you to come along with us from the comfort of your own home as we all know travel is quite difficult at the moment so wherever you are continue to watch continue to have a lovely day and god bless each and every single one of you